Okay, so we've seen how you can use uh, certain signatures of your client API in order to cast a response to a type you need, right? We wanted message. So when we did a get request to a particular message, we said, hey, Jaxrs client, I expect a message as a response. And Jaxrs was actually smart enough to give you a message instance. It got the response and it set the right message instance value and handed it back to you. While this is cool, there is one particular problem we face with generics that I'm gonna talk about now. If you're dealing with uh, a Jaxrs client which returns a generic type, like a list of messages in this case, we are gonna run into a problem and I'll show you what that is. All right, so I'm gonna create a new class to showcase this. Uh, I'm gonna go to new class and I'm gonna call this generic demo. And uh, this is a standalone class. I'm gonna choose main method and click finish. And I'm gonna copy over the code from the invocation demo. I'm gonna make a call to the same API, right? I wanna get all messages by year and I pass in the year. This should give me a list of messages. I'm gonna change this to uh, get because we don't need an invocation here. We need to make the actual call. Uh, I don't need to return this. Uh, I'm gonna hard code the year for now. Let's say it's 2015. Okay, now if I were to leave this line as is, right, with a get, without any arguments, what I would get back is a response, right? Now if I do a assign to new local variable, I get a response instance. But this is not what I want. I wanna use the school feature of the Jaxrs client which gives me the type that I need. And the way to do that is to send in the type in the get method, right? If I want a message, I do a get of message.class, and that's what lets the Jaxrs client know that I need a message instance, and it's gonna give me a message instance, right? It's gonna marshal and give me the message instance. Now, what do I need to do for a list? Can I do a list.class here? Let me try that. I'm gonna type in list.class from Java util list. And now I need to change the return to a list. Okay, now I have a list returned back. Let me print this out and see what the value is. If I execute this, I get a nasty error. Let's look at what the error is. Well, this is the familiar message body reader not found error. So the problem that's happening here is it's not able to convert the value that was returned from the REST API response into a list. And you see it says it's a generic type list that it's not able to convert to. So this is a problem when you're dealing with Jaxrs clients that uh, you know make a call, get a response, which happens to be a generic type. Uh, it could be a list of messages, a set of comments, anything of that sort, right? When you're dealing with generics, you need to do something special. So the way Jaxrs solves this problem is kind of weird, but I'll explain what, what's happening here and how to solve this issue. So let me remove this list.class. This is clearly not working. Now, if you do a control space here, you see there is this signature which expects a generic type. So what this means is you need to pass in an instance of this generic type class, okay? So the generic type is something that comes with JAXRS. So you need to provide an instance of this generic type. Now the generic type class itself is a generic type. You see here there is a T. Now when you provide an instance of a generic type T, you need to specify what that T is, right? So in this case, that T happens to be the generic type that you expect, right? So what is the generic type we expect? That is list of messages. So what you need to send is generic type of list of messages, okay? I know this is a bit confusing, but go with me here. I'll show you what this looks like in the end. So if I were to choose this signature, what I would have to do is say generic type and uh, the generic type of this is a list of messages, okay? But this 
is not what we need to send. We need to send an instance of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say a new, and uh, I'm going to create this inline class. Let me import these guys here. And now I'm just going to say open close so that this is an inline implementation and an instance. And I need to change the response to a list of messages. Now this is going to work because now JaxRS knows that what I'm getting back is a list of messages. Now I'm going to change this and execute this. And there you go, we have a list of messages. So it's a bit convoluted the way this, uh, the way you solve this problem, but this is how you do it. You create an instance of this generic type class that comes with JaxRS, and the generic type itself happens to be a generic type, and that type is the generic type that we need, which is list of messages. Uh, if this does not make sense, go ahead and watch this video again. Hopefully it does after that. But uh, I'm gonna leave this code out here. But hopefully this code serves as an example for when you're stuck with generic types and you're a JaxRS client and you don't know what to do. Well, this is how you do it.